most people think that godly love is like a love that's in the church. And when you sit down and you're, uh, you know, having a dinner together or something like that, and it's friends, but you got to think about what may be on the plate. Because God's love is unconditional. And you can't be, have unconditional love if you don't have love and compassion and empathy for the animals. That's part of God's creation. So that's one another. That's not just members of my church. That's members of God's creation. There's where our thinking has to be. If we're going to live in God's heavenly will, it has to include the whole of creation. And if we're talking about loving one another, that has to include the animals because there are neighbors too. You know, I happen to live where I live in Wisconsin here uh, in you know, a farming community. And it's very difficult to travel very far without seeing cows or horses or something in the fields. There are animals all over the place. Plus the wild animals. We have wild animals on our property. So love has to include them. And that doesn't mean that we can have conditional love. That's not godly love. It's not just having love for our friends or having romantic love. It's having godly love, which is unconditional. And it's hypocritical not to include the whole of God's creation. We can't cause pain, suffering, and death to an animal for our pleasure. That's not godly love because there's no pain, suffering, or death in heaven. So we have to live the way God lived. <coughs> Sorry. But the point that we have to look at is in everything we do, are we being loving in an unconditional way. Amen.